Yeah. So with the sea moss growing in, in the farm, it, it's no different than growing in the wild. The only thing that sea moss farmers do is put it on a rope. And I don't care what anybody says. You, you, no one can show me proof that there is any possible way that the toxins from the rope are leaching into the sea moss directly. That That's is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like the, there's currents flowing. Anything that would leach off the off the the rope or anything, even the rock, is going to get dispersed into the water. Do you no. One way. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The water is constantly moving. Well, how, how is anything staying in one place? That's why the sea moss has to be attached to a rock. It's because the water currents are so moving that if the if sea moss even just floats freely in the water. If you're walking along the beach on, on the on the thing, you will step on sea moss in St. Lucia. Yeah. It's the and most that's where people get their wild crap in from. <laughs> that's where they're getting their wild crap. They're just yeah. up off the bottom of the ocean. It's just washed up, so you don't know how long it's been sitting there. Mm -hmm. But here's something that many people don't realize. What, what does sea moss use to eat? What is its food? Well, it's, it's the plankton and the bio... No. Nitrates. Nitrogen. In the water. Exactly. So that, yeah. that's what it feeds on. It doesn't come from nutrients from the rock. It actually comes from the land. Right? Right. right? And that's why we have a problem with sagacity right now is because they believe that the, the nutrient, the, the water, is, uh, the ocean has a high level of uh, nitrogen and it's, and it's feeding this, this uh, sagacity that's blooming everywhere. Oh, the sagacity that's in Mexico and so everywhere. everywhere in the world. Yeah. It's, bro, it's, it's ridiculous. Even in St. Lucia, it kills, like it destroys sea moss farms because they will come in like a, like a, like a, like a island and just like engulf everything but sea moss the more sea moss you put in the water is going to eliminate the, the problem with the sagasso i think part of the problem we have with the sagasso is because we have less sea moss in the water because we keep trying to pull it out thinking well it's better because it's wild we need to be adding more sea moss to the ocean not taking out sea moss in the ocean we're killing the ocean we're killing the the um well the whole ecosystem yeah. especially on the wild crab. All, all the, the coral reefs yeah what i learned right about sea moss is that sea moss can't grow uh, like can't flourish properly in coral reefs and that in fact where there is coral reefs it's not a suitable spot for growing sea moss because sea, coral reefs can't grow in high levels of nitrogen and the sea moss needs high levels of nitrogen to grow so it's so, counterintuitive not only that, but by eliminating the sea moss from the ocean, you are now raising the level of nitrogen in the thing, and you're killing the coral. Right. 